What's up, Fight Fans? Mr. Mustache here. This Saturday, UFC 291, we got Uros Smedic taking on Matthew Semmelsberger in the welterweight division. In a really exciting matchup where we have Medic moving up to 170, making his 170 debut against the, he the heavy hitting Semmelsberger, who, yeah, he's coming off of a loss to Jeremiah Wells, a split decision loss, in a fight that I personally thought he won. And before that, he picked up a very solid victory over a surging Jake Matthews back in last December. So Semmelsberger, he's had a little bit of inconsistency within the UFC. He got beat by Alex Morono. He got beat by Chaos Williams, but he's put on some really nice performances, like against Jake Matthews, Martin Sano, AJ Fletcher. I mean, the guy has just one punch knockout power. The Jason Witt knockout, too, I think definitely deserves a mention. And Medich in his own right, I think at 55, he's a very dynamic striker, goes for the finish, has a lot of KOs on his resume as well. But his fight against Jalen Turner, who in my opinion, Jalen Turner should be at welterweight, but his fight against Jalen Turner, he showed that on the ground, he was just really out of his element, didn't know what to do, just completely overwhelmed, outclassed. Jalen Turner showed in that fight, that just showed how much leaps and bounds that Jalen Turner had grown in his own right, right? And I think that him going up to 170, Medich, taking on Semmelsberger, I think it's just a really bad fight for him, especially for his first fight to kind of get his feet wet in a new weight class because Semmelsberger... He's really in the middle of rounding out his game. He's young himself, like 29 years old, right in the middle of his prime, surging prospect in his own right. Massive power for the weight class as well for 170. So I think it's a very dangerous, risky fight for Medic to make his debut at 170. I think it's a great matchup for Semmelsberger to get himself back onto the winning track. Yeah, he's 11-5, and five, but I don't really think his wins and losses really show how good Semmelsberger is and can be in the future if he's just able to find a little bit of consistency, a little bit of footing under him. Because if Semmelsberger gets one, two, three wins, I, I view him more as like the modern day Matt Brown. That's kind of how I view Matthew Semmelsberger. And I think that he could be better than what Matt Brown was in his prime. And I think that's saying a lot. That's a lot of, a lot of praise. So I think that that's kind of the ceiling for Semmelsberger. He could be a guy top five within the welterweight division if he's just able to round it out get his fight iq up there just get some wins under his belt because he's got the power to put out any guy at 170 and i think that he's going to continue this saturday at ufc 291 guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think is uros medic going to get his first victory at welterweight or is matthew semmelsberger going to show him why 170 is a whole different weight class guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content. Fires truly. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go fight fans.